All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today, we are going to try the Rock Island at the range. It is super cold. I'm only going to do a few rounds and take it home, go over it. May tear this one apart too, see how things fit. Let's get shooting. Let's try the 1911. Not bad. Except for one. Failure to feed. Couldn't need lubed. All right, everyone, we have the Rock Island Armory here. Got back from the range with it. Um, it had one failure to feed. I don't know if it's a magazine. I don't know if it was how it's holding it. Who knows? Um, the magazine seems to be all right, but I don't know. There's no markings on it. But, I mean, feels all right, looks all right. Looks in. Could be how it's holding it. Could have been holding it like a baby. Um, and I thought I would have been better off with this sight. And I missed more with this one than I did with the Tizas. So, you know, first time shooting it. Got to get used to it, I guess. Um... It's all good. Had fun. This one doesn't come with anything. You know, I went over that in the other video, but it's got all the different upgrades. And so, is what it is. Doesn't have the cleaning kit, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyway, I'm going to tear this one down, too, because like I said, I like to tear things down, learn, go over things, clean them up you know, re-lube them, and let's get into it. Okay, so here we have everything tore down. This one was a little more difficult with the ambi um, safety. It came off, though. Just a little tight. Um, and this one, same. I mean, it's actually a lot looser, but it's not too bad I don't think if anyone knows more let me know the other one wasn't sliding this easy I mean it was a nice it didn't catch but it wasn't this easy um, so I just wanted to check you know see if it was catching anywhere on anything the barrel the slide of the frame not Another reason I didn't mention it in the Tisa video I'd tear this down is to get all the oil and whatever else junk, you know, they ship them in. I like to wipe them all down, get everything clean, and then put, then I'll oil it. That way we get rid of, you know, whatever they use so it doesn't rust or whatever shipping across the ocean. Pretty sure that's why they do it. Um, one thing I was looking at this is that I noticed this must be anodized because this looks like those really cheap AR-15 frames or uh, lowers and like you can just see, like see those marks like it just gets real dirty easy it's scratching easy and I just 
I haven't even sat on anything to get it scratched. Um, it just the quality on the finish on this one is definitely not as nice as whatever's on the the uh, Tisas, but and the Tisas could be anodized too, but you know they have different qualities. I mean, you can see it in AR-15 lowers, good anodized, horrible anodized. It almost looks like a flat black primer or something on it. But I'll get this cleaned up. This trigger on this one is awesome though for what it, you know, $100 more for the gun. But this trigger is solid. Um, I had a harder time shooting this one than the other one and I thought I would do better with that for real. But I'll, you know, take it out a few more times. Get used to it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll uh, get these back together and I'm going to you know do some more videos on them get some more rounds down range and see how they do so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video